Joining us now is Congresswoman Tammy Duckworth of Illinois. She's an Iraq War combat veteran. And as a child, she saw firsthand another refugee crisis in Southwest Asia. She has an op-ed today called Reject Fearmongers, Welcome Syrian Refugees, that appeared in today's Chicago trip. Uh, Congresswoman Duckworth, it's really nice to have you here. Thanks for being with us tonight. It's good to be on, Rachel. What do you think explains the move, particularly by governors across the U.S., including the governor, Republican governor in your state, uh, to make Syrian refugees the issue and to try to block them state by state? Well, I, I don't know why they're doing it, Rachel, but here's what I do know. When we react from fear and terror, the way these governors are reacting, we have achieved the terrorist goals. This is what they want to do. They can't beat us on a conventional battlefield, so they have to uh, beat us somewhere else. And so when we react with terror and fear, we're doing exactly what the, what the terrorists want us to do. This is the time for us to lead from strength, not from fear. And that's what these governors are, are playing to their lowest common denominator, and they're really not helping our national security. If they want to help our national security, then we should actually be working towards uh, helping the refugees get here, because I've certainly don't want a whole nother generation of disaffected youth who hates America. Mm. And that's what will happen if we leave these kids in these refugee camps. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about this um, is specifically because of what you've explained about your own uh, lived experience. As a kid, I understand that you had some, uh, some experience sort of witnessing firsthand um, refugees fleeing incredibly difficult circumstance and, um, and the importance of the United States in dealing with the refugee crises at that time. Could you talk about that a little bit? Sure, Rachel. As a child, my father worked for the United Nations Development Programs. Uh, I actually was living in Cambodia uh, until two weeks before the Khmer Rouge took over. Mm. I remember as a child uh, living in Thailand as my dad was trying to bring humanitarian aid uh, to the refugee camps as, as the refugees who were fleeing Laos, who were fleeing the Khmer Rouge out of Cambodia, who were fleeing Vietnam, were loading everything they had into boats and sailing onto the South China Sea, seeking, seeking a better life, seeking safety. Let's, let's not forget that these refugees are victims of torture, uh, and, uh, and, and they are not safe. Uh, you know, I, I can't imagine, Rachel, what it must be like if my, my daughter Abigail turned one year or so today. I can't imagine having to go home today, picking up Abigail and only what I can carry, fleeing across an entire continent, and when I get to the ocean, put her, the most precious thing in my life, into a little rubber dinghy, because that's safer than where she is right now. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, we, we did the right thing by the boat people in Southeast Asia when I was a child. We could have brought in more. I um, mean, we need to do the right thing uh, here in, uh, with the Syrian refugees. These are women and children and victims of torture. Are you confident with the administration's assurances that these are the most well-screened people coming into the United States by any means and that any security concerns should be alleviated by the screening processes that are already in place? Are you, are you reassured by those, uh, by, by, by those assurances from the administration? Well, Rachel, we have the most robust screening program in place of any nation that is ref accepting refugees. So before they even come into our 13-step process, they have to get through the uh, United Nations Refugee uh, Commission first, uh, and then they come to us. They go through a 13-step process. They get biometric screening. They sit down with DHS interviews uh, before they go through that whole process. I'm already working with the administration to figure out what else we can do to make sure that uh, no one slips through the cracks. But, but let's be clear. These are women and children and victims of torture and we turn our backs on them we reinforce the message that isis is sending out to folks across the middle east that america hates islam that we hate them um, and that we will turn their our backs on them and that will create yet another generation of people who will threaten our national security well into the future and i simply am not going to allow us to do that we are better than that as a nation rachel congresswoman tammy duckworth of illinois thank you very much uh, for your time tonight congresswoman it's great to have you here thank you We've got much more ahead. Stay with us.